What was the first time you ever acted? Oh, goodness gracious, I was probably 13 or 14. School play? Family? No, no, it was back home on the Six Nations, there was this, uh, they'd have something called the Summer Pageant every year. It was all about Joseph Brandt and the, the founding of Brantford and the Six Nations. And all the voices were taped and they were played through speakers without this forest and across a little creek. And the stage was across there. And the audience sat on benches, built in benches up on the side of the hill. And it was all lit from this control tower. And all we had to do was come out and mime the uh, voices and do whatever they said. And that way you, you had to act big because you were just small. You couldn't stand there and say your lines. You had to gesture over here and over there. I thought, eh. <laughs> no, that's not for me, that's, nah. And who were you? Were you Joseph Brent? No, I forget who I played, I don't know. But uh, I just said, no, I didn't do that. But you remember the gesture? I remember all the gesturing and things and stuff. And it's funny, because when I think of the work that I've seen you, you don't gesture a lot, which is a good thing. Because every time you act someone who is gesturing, you're making fun of them, right? I mean, love the bit when you went into the rehearsal, you went into the audition space and all the other actors were gesturing. I, I'd love it when you do that kind of stuff. But you don't gesture a lot. You don't gesture much. No, you don't act with your hands. I teach so many kids to put your hands in your pockets. Why? Because you're not talking with them. You're just sitting there. The camera's only looking at this much, but you're doing this. And to say, why? And, and what's that mean? doesn't mean anything <laughs> if you take it A friend that. of mine is learning, she's white, she's learning Ojibwe. And she said part of the, you know, she's, she's a, a, a religious person and all this, but she's trying to learn all the different languages. She says she's, the, the Ojibwe culture, you don't point. Mm -hmm. You don't say, Graham, what did you do on that? That pointing is not part of that gesture kind of thing. No. He said it's like this, as opposed to like this. Yeah. And I found that very interesting about, you know, talking about gestures and yeah. people. Well, here's the way they point. Oh. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, there's the old joke Mike. about, yeah, the okay. old joke about, uh, they did not Geronimo's head on, uh, down in Rushmore, the biggest piece of graffiti in the United States. And they had his arm pointing out like that, but there was a, something happened, lightning hit, and the, the arm dropped off, and nobody could tell what he's doing, so they had to reshape the lips to go. <laughs> oh, that's funny, I thought. That's, that's universal, Every, all Native people do that. Graham, it has been a pleasure to talk to you. I thank you. Thank you for doing this. It's been my pleasure to take you down my little rabbit hole and uh, kick the dust. Absolutely. Is there anything else you want to say? I mean, we're still rolling, so we can go anywhere. Yeah. When Mike, have, you tell me, Mike, tell me if I've really missed anything. Uh, if you want to be an actor, like I said, use your heart. Don't be afraid to show your heart. That's where your feelings are. And if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But do if you want to. Have a thick skin and a hard head. And I hope you make it. And if you don't, do something else. Bye.